Hi everyone, it's Colour Me Ames. Thanks so much for joining me. In today's video I'm going to be showing you my Wild Republic plush collection. We've got a few to go through, so as per normal I will just jump straight in with these penguins here at the front. So this first one here is a penguin chick from the Wild Watchers range. This one is super duper cute. I saw this one uh, one time on a trip to the city. It was just in this really random like souvenir store, like they had a lot of Australian plush and a lot of random souvenirs that uh, you could get but then I saw this one and I thought I have to have that so it's super cute so from the Wild Watchers range I'll just show you the back of the tag so Penguin Chick from 2014 this next penguin here I believe is also from the Wild Watchers range they do have sort of similar eyes as you can see those nice big eyes this one's a pre-loved one from a thrift store so I don't know what year this one was from just has the Wild Republic tush tag there that you can see. So there's that cutie, they look very cute together. Move those out of the way. This next one is a baby elephant who is super duper cute and I love the little, not only the mouth but also the grey eyes which is really interesting. A lot of the times on plush you get like brown or blue eyes or black. This one's that cute grey colour as you can see. So this one's from the Huggins range. Baby Elephant, 7 inches from 2014. There's that one. So that one was new with tags. I couldn't pass up that one when I saw that one in store. Okay. This next one here is another pre-loved baby. It's a cute little monkey and I love the little bit of white fur underneath the chin there. It's very sweet. This one has got a yellow tush tag, not sure what that means, if it's from a different kind of range or if it's just a standard Wild Republic, but again had to bring this cutie home. So that's a monkey. Okay, so these next ones are all from the Itsy Bitsy range. So we've got a giraffe, we've got a sun bear, I believe, we'll have a check in a second. We've got a panda, a tiger and a white tiger so I believe they are all five inch yeah itsy bitsy five inch tiger I think these ones are newer because this one has a different tag as you can see but still from that itsy bitsy's range so they're all very cute this white one here was a pre-loved one from a thrift store which was a really lucky find to still have the tag and to be in such beautiful condition as you can see cute little whiskers and it's still got the tag and everything. It's got the yellow tush tag. Difference here amongst these ones, they seem to have, all have a green tush tag. Yep. So all these little itsy bitsy ones have the green tush tags. They're all very, very cute and very sweet. I think I got all these little ones, these four here, at the same time. I couldn't choose which one I wanted and they were like super cheap at a market one time. So I bought them all. Yeah, so this one's the sun bear, as I was saying. It's very, very cute. Got your panda, little giraffe, and your tiger, and your white tiger as well. So those are the itsy bitsies. Just move those out of the way. Okay, and we just saw a couple of tigers, so we'll have a look at some more tigers. So these ones are different again. I think this tiger here is also from that Wild Watchers range. It's got those same beautiful big eyes that you can see. Just show you from behind. Here's that one. It doesn't have a tag or anything. This one was a pre-loved one from a thrift store. Lots of rescue babies I'm showing you. This one was also a pre-loved one from a thrift store. Seems all my uh, cats and <laughs> my big cats are all pre-loved except for one it seems. It's got those whiskers again same as the baby one. This one's from the Cuddlekins range. Doesn't have a coloured tush tag, it's just got the white, I'm not sure if it used to or not, but still in very beautiful condition and it's still got that tag, so very happy with this find from the thrift store, with both of them actually, they're both beautiful, you can see there, so there's those two tigers. Alright, so we'll have a look at some dogs now, so this one is a black Scotty, Sometimes it's hard to see the little eyes because there's just so much fur around the face, but it is very, very cute. It's a black Scotty. This one's quite different. It's in that laying down position, so Scottish Terrier 7 inches. 
show you. Quite unique. Um, I wasn't even sure that they were from Wild Republic when I first saw these ones, but obviously they've got the Wild Republic tag. They're quite interesting, um, quite different from a lot that you see. You don't often see these types. I haven't seen any. Please let me know if you have. This is also from that same laying down range as Chocolate Labrador. Chocolate Lab, seven inches. And also from that same laying down range as this cutie. Look at that face. <laughs> it's so sweet. And I love the two tone, different colours of this Golden Retriever. So it seems that these ones were from, all from 2010. I'm just having a quick squeeze. Yeah. So these ones are a bit older, so I'm wondering if they used to make them look a little bit different or if they were going for a more realistic look with the dogs because then you go into more these types of doggies as we go along in time. So I'm not sure. Happy to have a bit of a wide variety. As we're looking at the dogs, this one is also a golden retriever. He has a sweet, sweet face. Got a little bit of my doggy's fur on his face. So that, yeah, it just looks so happy, that face. It's so sweet. So this one is a bit of a difference in age, if you will. So this one was from 2017. And this also Golden Retriever was from 2010. So definitely changed a lot <laughs> in seven years. There's that one. And I'll just move those out of the way so we can see these two. So these two are from the Wild Watchers range as well. Wild Watchers. This is our Saint Bernard. And then this one says Shepherd, but with an A. <laughs> I, mean, I go with German Shepherd. It's got those standard brown and black German Shepherd colours. They're very, very cute. This one here also looks super happy. This one looks a little bit mischievous, in my opinion. Both very cute. Just have a look from behind. I think these two I found on Amazon last year, which was quite interesting. I hadn't really seen too many pop up before, and they've got 2010 on that one, and yeah, 2010. So it was a nice find to find those ones on Amazon. Not sure if they're still available, but you could have a look. There's those two. And the last doggy that I have is this fluffy one here. It <laughs> looks kind of quizzical, kind of tired, sleepy, but also adorable. This is the Boston Terrier, Wild Republic, CK for Cuddlekins, I assume, Boston Terrier. It's got information in the tag, yeah, Cuddlekins, Boston Terrier. There we go. It's an American gentleman, there you are, that's nice and interesting. So there you go, this one's super duper soft. To hold and to touch and I love that nice sitting position that he's in so he's a sweetheart so that's the last doggy that I have from my collection sort of similar but not <laughs> not a dog here we have this cute dingo who is another pre-loved one from the op shop part of the down under range as you can see there on the tag I'm assuming they probably had some other Australian animals this is the only one of this range that I have in my collection. It's very cute and it's got that nice soft nose and the beautiful eyes and it's in quite an interesting position. Its body's in a bit of an interesting shape from um, dingoes that I've seen. They're usually a little, like a bit skinnier. <laughs> this one's a little bit chunky which is really cute. <laughs> so there's that one. So that's a dingo. Okay and we'll have a look at these ones. I believe these two, well, the horse, I believe, is from the same range as the little fawn here. So this horse was another pre-loved find from a thrift store. It's so nice to find such cuties sometimes at the thrift store. That one, Wild Republic. And this one, who is super duper adorable. It's a bit hard to take a picture of this one, so I'm glad to be able to show you in person because the ears go back and it's kind of hard to see, but it is beautiful. And you can see that detailing on the body and the cute little tail. So we'll just see if there's any more information for you guys. So that's the fawn, seven inches from 2014. That's very cute. I like this one to be out around Christmas time. It's very sweet. So 
have out on display. There's the fawn. And I'll move a bit closer. Just got these last ones to go. We'll start off here with this one. So this is a baby lion from the Cattlekins range. This one was another thrift store find, but it's in beautiful condition. The only thing was, I assume there was a price sticker there and it's got a bit of residue, but that's okay. We've got the lion baby. I think it looks like a female, probably a bit biased because it doesn't have a mane. It's very sweet. And I'm going to say it's a female just so that I can have <laughs> a female lion in my collection because, um, yeah, I think majority of the lions, if not all the other lions I have, all have a mane and a voice. So it's nice to have a girl. So this one I named Leona back in the day. <laughs> so she's very sweet. She's got a lovely soft brown nose there. There you go. Okay. And some last but not least, a little bit of a pack. We've got some foxes and some wolves, which are all very cute. So this one is obviously not realistic in terms of colour, but it is very sort of realistic, I guess, in terms of its body size and everything if you were to look to scale in saying that obviously um <laughs> foxes don't have super big glittery eyes like that but it's so cute and i had to have it i have shown you guys these two foxes in my fox collection previously but we're doing a wild republic collection so i've brought them back out to have here so again for anyone who hasn't seen my fox collection video this one is the cuddle king's red fox and this one is the Sweet and Sassy Raspberry Fox. Very cute. It's the only one I have from this little Sweet and Sassy range. I do see them pop up sometimes on eBay. I'm trying to be good though, guys. I'm trying to be good. But um, yeah, couldn't help myself with this one when I saw it. And there's this one. It also has a beautiful face. So those two foxes. And then last but not least is my little wolf pack. So they're all very different, which is nice. As you can see quite a wide variety of how they look. So we've got this one here from the Cuddlekins range. This one I believe is just from the standard range, just Wild Republic Wolf. This one I think is one of the Huggins, the similar to that elephant that I showed you, the baby elephant. So this one is another thrift store find and my husband has adopted this one actually as his own. He loves to have this wolf on his desk. So there's that cutie. This one was another pre-loved baby. This big one, it's similar size to the Cuddlekins. So I think it's from the Cuddlekins range. It's got beautiful colouring throughout which is nice, very unique. So there's that cutie, the big floof ball. And then last but not least is my black wolf who has a very cute face and I love the black fur. I'll show you Cuddlekin's black wolf. So I assume that 12 inch size again. So it's super duper lovely as you can see there. So there you go. They are the last ones to show you, my beautiful wolf pack. They are all very lovely. As you can see, I love them so much. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got some Wild Republic plush in your collection at home that you love, feel free to comment below your favourite. Or if you've seen some new ones that might be out that you think I'd be interested in, please let me know. I'd love to have a look. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are staying safe and take care. Thanks, guys. Bye.